So we are going away for a few days, which means it's clean out the fridge time. So today we have fresh food and it's all stuff that you could easily grow in your own garden if you were so inclined. Um, otherwise it's just, it's a really, really cheap, quick filling meal using shit that's already in your fridge that you need to get rid of. So I've got a piece of cabbage, um, zucchini, some carrots, garlic, onions, some tomatoes, and I've got some, um, you could use pancetta or bacon or really if you have any kind of meat or keep it vegan, whatever you want, and some tomatoes. Now this dish is delicious if you have like arborio rice or something that you can put in it, but um, we got like a thousand of these during COVID. Um, we just stocked up on these because uh, Food was hard to get and so I'm just gonna put this on the side because we're desperately trying to use these before they go bad so I will be using this today so let's see what I've got first things first hair up because I used to work in professional kitchens and nothing irritates me more than when hair gets in food I know a lot of people like to shit on cabbage because let's face it it's not very exciting but it's actually super nutritious. It's delicious. You can do so many things with it. And right now a head of cabbage is 99 cents at the store. So that half a cabbage thing is a whole bowl. So this is like, you can make so much food with so cheap with cabbage. And it's super, super nutritious and good for you. So learn to like cabbage. And all we're really doing here is chopping up your vegetables, just a rough chop or rustic as people like to say, which means I don't know how to cut things evenly. Um, but just cut everything up because it's just all going to go into a mix anyway and it doesn't really matter and sometimes it's nice to have different sized pieces of stuff. Make sure that you have some uh, old school music on in the background. It makes cooking so much more fun. Um, this is Tears for Fears, and it gives me joy, but I can't actually play it because YouTube will ding me for it. Okay, so our veggies are all chopped, and then we're just going to add them to the pan one by one. Okay, so let the pan get a little bit hot. Add whatever meat, if you're going to add meat um, first, and let it cook down a little bit. It'll add flavor to everything else, but if you're a vegetarian or vegan or just, you know, don't like pork products, then totally leave it out. It's fine. Um, I just like it. My husband likes meat. Uh, I try not to eat it very much, but I haven't had meat in the last couple days. Um, and this will just, it just gives a little something extra. So if you're into it, use it. If you're not, don't. So once it starts to really sizzle and you get some fat out and you've got some fat in the pan, Add that. I like to add the cabbage first because it needs to cook down a lot more than everything else and it just takes a little bit longer and I also like to get it just a little bit brown on the edges um, and then we're gonna throw everything else in this is like the super most easy basic thing it's just add things in the order that they need to cook and then let it simmer and there should be enough fat from the guanciole but if there's not, add some butter or some olive oil just to give it that nice saute. Um, if you're not using a meat either, you probably need some fat in there from some other source. Some people will also cook the bacon, remove it, and then put the cabbage in um, just because that way it doesn't burn. But I prefer just to cook it a little bit less. Um, I do it the other way sometimes, but today I'm just going to leave it in there and just cook it less before I put the other stuff in. And then it'll keep cooking inside the cabbage and then all the other things so it'll be fully cooked by the time that we eat it don't forget to season everybody likes some salt and pepper in their shit you can add it at any point people are kind of military about when you add stuff and it's fine it's good to have salt on the cabbage because it helps to draw the water out if you want it a little crispier um but just don't forget it doesn't matter when you put it in just don't forget Okay, so once your cabbage is starting to get soft, add the rest of your veggies. Okay. 
Now you can put in the onion and garlic first if you prefer it sauteed or you can leave it in there till later if you want more bite. Um, it doesn't really matter. Just do whatever makes you happy. I always find it amusing how regimented people are in recipes, especially on YouTube. Like people get really fucking upset if you make a recipe and it's not exactly the way that they were raised. But my thing is, make what you want how you want. You don't have to follow any recipe in a book. And a lot of people find new recipes and like, oh my god, this is so good. And it's like because somebody just made shit up. At some point, you just have to make shit up. So just enjoy things, especially like during a cost of living crisis. We can't all be making beef wellington. Like, if you find stuff at the supermarket that is cheap, buy it, work out what to do with it later. Like, find yourself a 99 cent cabbage and then work out what to do with it. Like, at the supermarket in Australia, they always had these packs of vegetables that were already pre-cut for like stir fry. But it was like, I would buy those last time I was home and just make weird shit because it was cheap. And like, I enjoy making things up and making new foods. So stop thinking you have to make everything to a recipe. Stop following militaristic recipes, whatever the fuck that means. Just, just enjoy things. You know what food tastes like. You know what goes together and what doesn't. So just look at things in the supermarket. Find what's cheap and make it up. Just make new things. Maybe you'll find a new flavor. They won't always work out. Sometimes you'll make something and you're like, that is not a keeper. But you might find something and be like, oh my God, I need to write a cookbook because that was delicious. But the big thing is, is just enjoy food. Make things up, try new things and enjoy it. It's meant to be fun. Cooking should be fun. Enjoy it. So here's what it looks like in the pan as everything is reducing. And at this point, it's going to reduce down. It's going to get a little bit watery. And you can decide whether you want this to be like a thick, chunky meal that you can put over rice. Or if you want to extend it further, especially like now that things are expensive, soups and stews are your best friend. So you can add like a cup of stock or, you know, add like a cup, uh, a can of Rotel or extra tomatoes. And it'll make it extra soupy and thick. And you can go from serving four people to six or eight just with the addition of water. And rice is so cheap that you throw some rice in and it is a completely filling, delicious, nutritious meal that costs pennies to make. Now, if you want to keep it vegan, then I would say add tomatoes or add wine. Wine is delicious if you're not an alcoholic and don't have a problem with that. And then you can always add vegetable bouillon. Um, these are absolutely delicious. I'm having trouble finding them right now. Um, but they've already got herbs and spices and all kinds of goodness in them. So that like you don't even need to really add like a whole bunch of extra stuff. Um, but otherwise, at this point, um, add whatever spices you have you don't have to buy special things whatever spices you have whether you want it to be like italian or french or you could go you know some weird mexican flavor if that was your thing um not that mexican's weird i'm just saying that mexican might be a bit weird in this um but i would probably go french or italian herbs because i always have italian <laughs> and french herbs in my pantry so that is what i'm gonna throw in there next and i'm just gonna let it keep reducing down and then at some point I will heat up the rice and then I've got some leftover um, Parmigiana Reggiana and I'm going to grate that at the end and throw it in. Um, this is not vegetarian, by the way. It has uh, Parmigiana Reggiana is made with beef rennet, cow rennet. Um, so it is not vegetarian. But if you don't want cheese, that's fine. If you do want, there's plenty of other vegetarian cheeses that you can put in there. Um, but it just adds an extra creaminess that makes it fucking delicious so i'm gonna put that in there i'll also put in a little bit of butter just for that extra creamy and like a dash of olive oil on top just because that's my thing how cute is this is this not the cutest itty bitty tiny shrimp sized grater you've ever seen in your life it's not so super practical um, but I have tiny hands and we live in a tiny camper so it totally works for me. 
So this is where it's at. It hasn't quite reduced down as much as I thought it would. So I am going to add the veggie stock. Just that way it is a lot more voluminous and soft. And I just think if I throw it over rice, it'll just be better if it's just a little bit wetter. Also, the stock will just add a little bit more flavor. I didn't put a whole bunch. It was like less than two cups. But this way, it just it gives it a little bit more richness um, and a little bit more something. And this is the beautiful thing about cooking. If you're halfway through and you're like, mm, not loving it, add something else. Change something up. It's not baking. Baking, baking is exact. Baking is a fucking science. Like, you can't mess with baking recipes. But cooking, do what you feel. I mean... Add anything you want, take things out, change things in the recipe, make it your own. Like, don't live by the recipe. At this point, if you were gonna add arborio rice or some kind of rice into the dish, you definitely wanna have the water in there because it needs the water to soak it up. But I would put it in at this point once all the veggies are cooked and put it in there, add a little bit more water, let it reduce down, make sure your rice is cooked before you break a tooth on it and then add the cheese at the very end. Since I am not adding the rice into the dish this time, I'm going to serve it on the side. I will just leave it, let it cook down a little tiny bit more and then add the cheese and then heat the rice and serve it on the side. Okay, so this is like how much liquid's in there, just for an FYI. And it is not an abundance of cheese, it is just what I had left over in the fridge. So that's gonna go in with just a dab of butter, just to make it super creamy and mix it through. And I think people are really scared of what other people are gonna think of their food. And I'm like, who gives a shit? Like someone today commented on my apocalypse fried rice that uh, when Uncle Roger sees it, he's gonna like lose his mind. And I'm like, I don't give a shit because he's not eating it. I am eating it. I am the one cooking it. I'm the one paying for the ingredients. I'm the one who's physically consuming the food. And as long as I think it tastes good, honestly, I really don't give a fuck what anybody else thinks because maybe someone gets inspiration from it. Maybe they don't, but I'm cooking dinner anyway, so it doesn't take me much longer to make a video. Um, but yeah, don't worry. Like, you're, unless you're going to Thanksgiving and you've got those super bitchy aunts and like, who gives a fuck because you're bringing free food as long as you don't poison them and like send them to the hospital. If they don't like it, that's on them. But as long as you like the food, you're paying for the food, you're cooking the food and you enjoy the food, cook it how you want it, babe. You do you. Food doesn't always have to be sexy. I mean, this is not super sexy but it is super nutritious and filling and it is cheap as fuck to make. Now, here's the thing. I love cooking shows. I think they give people inspiration and all that, but I think we've entered this era of like, everything has to be Instagrammable and it has to be beautiful. And you go to some restaurants and yeah, the food looks great, but you put it in your mouth and you're like, you want $50 for this? It tastes like shit. Like if I go into a restaurant uh, and I'm like, I could have made this better at home. I mean, maybe it's prettier, but if it's if it's if it doesn't taste good, then it's no good. So make things how you want to eat them. You're not doing it for Instagram. You're probably not doing it for YouTube. Just make foods that are happy for you. Make foods that bring you joy. Make foods that are filling and nutritious and cheap to make. And don't worry about what anybody else thinks or if it's not pretty enough for them. If you invite friends over and you give them something delicious and nutritious and they're bitchy about it, fuck them. Don't invite them over again. Let them make their own food. Let them order Uber Eats. Like, screw that. I totally forgot. If you are making rice on the side, um, make the rice at some point during this. Um, otherwise, if you're like me, you've got some super lazy 90 second rice hack um, because you've got 50 packets of it then pop that in right at the end and I'll show you how unsexy but super delicious this meal plates. Ooh, that is hot. At this point, depending on how sloppy you made your dish, uh, you can put it on a plate. And if you're lucky like me, your plates match your wallpaper. Otherwise, I like a bowl. So, 
I like a little bit of rice. Uh, not too much if you use if you if you really want to be filling use more rice and you could probably this will feed two uh, If you want to have just it as an accent, you can easily make this for four people. So rice Veggies Get some juice And look I know this is not the sexiest dish on earth but it is delicious and nutritious and probably costs like two bucks to make. Maybe a little bit more because the tomatoes were expensive. Um, but I mean, seriously, like food doesn't have to be beautiful. It just has to be good for you. And tasty helps. It's good if it's tasty. But I mean, you don't have to, you don't have to make super expensive Instagram food. You can just make easy, cheap, nutritious food. All right, I'll see you next time.